BBC One for the Eastern Counties. And now from Norwich, we present the second semi-final in the knockout crossword puzzle contest, Commuter Quiz. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to the second semi-final of our knockout crossword puzzle contest commuter quiz. Last week, Cambridge fought their way through to the finals. So who will meet them? Well, it'll be one of the two teams we have here this evening. Representing the Northampton commuter line, we have Peter Chamberlain. Good evening. And Ted Kimmons. Good evening. For the Clacton line, we have Kenneth Rowlands. Hello. And Tony Bullock. Good evening. Now, they all have their eyes on this special trophy, which will be presented to the winning team. The rules are straightforward. Each team can tackle up to three clues in a row. If they can't answer, or if they get a wrong word, then the clue goes to the other side, who must answer straight away for bonus points. Now, if they get the answer right, they also seize the initiative. Our scorer, Mary, will award one point for each letter, which means the longer the word, the more the points. Jack Cross, one of our compilers, is in another part of the studio to comment on one or two of the clues. Now, to decide which team goes first, I put out the lights and we ask them to solve an anagram. Stand by your buzzers. And uh, who's going to be first? Here's the clue. And it's Northampton. Northampton. And let's have a look at the clue. The clue is rude apes. Persuade. Persuade is the correct answer. Good. So there we are. So that means that Northampton, in fact, have the first choice of clue. Which would you like? 27 across, please. 27 across, Ted. Enlarge deranged head. General. It is general, indeed, Peter. It's an anagram of enlarged. Of, of enlarge. That's right. And the second of your three. One across, please. One across. One across for Peter there. My oriental arts somehow give a sense of power. Mastery. Yes. That's an anagram again of my arts with E for oriental. Well done. And the third of your three? Two down. Two down. Pardon, kid? Question mark. I've got a bone to pick. Exclamation mark. Five and three. Spare rib? Yes, it is spare rib. I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Jack, you tell us why. Well, a spare is to pardon someone, a rib is to make fun of them, and of course a spare rib is a bone. Indeed. Out to kid, of course, too. Splendid. Right, well, now we move across to Clacton, and Northampton have got 22. Clacton, you're batting for your first points. Five down, please. Five down. Manage to notice York for instance, has one. Administer. Yes. Um, it's notice, add, minster for York, with one in the middle of it. That's correct. Good. You've got ten very good points there. Um, five across, please. Your second clue is five across, and that is expose and back up member and be a cause of inflation, and that is three and four. Air pump. Yes. How do you how do you work that out? Well, to expose is to air, and you've got to back up backwards and an MP. That's absolutely right, Kenneth. Inflation. Indeed, yes. And the third of your three. Seven down. Seven down. Stamps after Carl. Sounds so. And that's four and five. Post marks. Post marks. Post marks. Yes, indeed. After Carl. Post marks. Good. That's your three, three, uh, your three clues. You've just got a few points in hand. Four ahead, in fact, of Northampton, who go into bat again. You're taking twelve across. Twelve across. Twelve across, Ted. Where to find a pit once used in cricket? And that is five.
five and three. Underarm. Indeed. You're going to explain that to me, though, aren't <laughs> yes. you? Yes. <laughs> Very subtle. The, pit, the armpit is under your arm, and uh, underarm bowling was once used in cricket. It was, indeed. Which is going to be your second clue? Six down. Six down. Discharge international burden. Unload. Yes. International UN and a burden is a load. Absolutely right. And the third clue? Fourteen across. Fourteen across. Stylist of sideboard and kitchen cupboard, perhaps. Four and seven. Hairdresser. Yes. <laughs> sideboard is uh, on your face. So you might be <laughs> dealing with that. And the dresser is the kitchen cupboard. Good. So you've got your points there. And it's the first um, clue for Clacton. Six, Sixteen across, please. Sixteen across. Artillery layers which have shells but no guns, question mark. Battery hands. Yes, my goodness me, you built up the tension there. Were you doing it on purpose? <laughs> no, oh, I can didn't. assure you not. Right, explain just a bit. Quickly Artillery explain. battery layers hems. Yes, that's quite right, good. Wow, the second of your three. Your 13, ten points 13 down, please. 13 down. Type of form which requires one to write label on the French back. Pentangle. No, it's not pentangle. And I'll offer that across to Northampton if you can answer straight away. Is it heptagonal? No. What did you say? Heptagonal. No, it's not heptagonal. So you're, let's uh, save the day for you, Clacton. We're back for your third clue. Um, 14 down. 14 down. Firm, strong deeds are indisputable, and it's four and five. Hard facts? Hard facts is the right answer. Firm, hard. Mm -hmm. F is fight. strong, acts, deeds. Yes. Indeed. Well done, good. Well, well you now have uh, 46, and only one point ahead of you, Northampton, who now choose their first clue. 18 across. Please. 18 across. The Italian tosses about, but used to stop. Or used to stop used to stop, whichever way you prefer. Filibuster. No, it's not filibuster. I'll offer that across to Clacton. Can you say straight away? Fillings. It is fillings. You're quite right. It's um, I-L, Italian V, inside flings. Absolutely right. Well, you've got eight bonus points there, and uh, you've regained the initiative because you now have the first of your three clues. Um, 26 across. 26 please. across. 51 cents needed to make copy. Stencil. Yes. L-I-51 cents anagram. Good. Second clue. Go on. 17 down, please. 17 down, Ken. Hint. Everything could be due. Allude. Mm. Uh, Ted was smiling there, hoping it was coming his way. And an anagram of the word due. That's right. And your third clue? Hint. Sorry. Um, could we have 21 down? Please? 21 down. Relax, student, and get artists' support. Easel. Easel. Yes. Ease with an L for a student. Very good indeed. Excellent. So Clacton now have 72, 47 for Northampton, who pick up their first clue. 15 down. Please. 15 down. 15 down, Peter, is um, capital transmission is rather worn. Headgear? Yes. 
capital head transmission gear. Hmm? Absolutely right. Good. Second clue. 19 across, please. 19 across. Bride embraces groom first. It's all in the contract. Bridge. Yes. <laughs> Bride rounds a G and it's contract bridge. It is indeed. And the third clue. 20 down. 20 down. Rule and fall by the sound of it. Rain. Rain. That's a pun, isn't it? Yep. Yes. It is indeed. That's your third. That's very good. You're up to 66. Clacton are now still a bit ahead of you. So let's see if they pull away more as they have the first of their three clues. 25 across. 25 please. across. Notions inside a skull? Question mark. Ideas. Yes. Um, I can't really explain it. Well, I think it's fairly obvious, isn't it, Jack? Yeah. Is there uh, anything special? Inside, inside the clue, I D E A S. Inside the skull, hidden in the clue, is ideas. Absolutely right. That's it. And the second clue. Could we have thirteen down, please? Thirteen down. This is one we've tried before. Type of form which requires one to write label on the French back. Hectagonal. No, it's not hectagonal, Northampton. Septagonal. No, it's not septagonal. So it's uh, we're back with Clacton again. <laughs> Your third clue. One down, please. One down. Makes fun of topless dresses. Mocks. Yes. Smocks without the S. That's right. Well done. So Clacton now have 82. Back to Northampton on 66. 13. Here we come again. Type of form which requires one to write label on the French back. Pentagonal. Pentagonal. At last we're there. Pen yes. to write, tag label. Good. Um. <laughs> Ten very good points. Eleven across, please. Eleven across. Watch the joint boil. See. Yes. Good. Watch, see, the, together make boil. Absolutely. And the third clue? Uh, three down. Please. Three down. Wear the trousers, holds one's ground. Uh, yes. It's hidden, hidden in where the... It is indeed. Yes, that's right. You've got five there. That completes your three. Let's come back to Clacton, who uh, are now just a few behind you with 82. Eight across, please. Eight across. Cleaner gets one professorship. Chair. Char with one inside. That's right. Second clue coming up. Uh, four down, please. Four down. Roy goes back east and into the past. Your backward Roy with east on the end. And That's the correct your answer. Is in the and the third of your three. Nine across, please. Nine across. Inclined to drive home quietly. Ramp. To drive home ram, T for quietly. That's absolutely right. Now we come back to Northampton. Ten across, please. Ten across. Donations from members, I hear. Arms. Yes, it is arms. Why should it be that? Donations, A-L-M-S, for members, A, sounds like A-R-M-S. That's right. And the second of your three? Twenty-two down. Twenty-two please. down. Stag. Does out the, of this party. Sorry? Stag. Stag is the correct answer, yes, indeed. It's not do. It's <coughs> not does, it's does. <laughs> ah, yes, indeed. That's very subtle, isn't it? And the third of your three. No, we don't. Do uh, Twenty-four. Twenty-four across, is that? Yes, it's got to be, hasn't it? Fly, but show the opposite of zest. Nat. Sorry. Nat. Yes, that's right. G-N-A-T. Can yes. you tell me why? It's, well, it's tang backwards. Ah, good. Right, and that's your third. And you now have 99. Clacton have 95, and it's their turn. Well, with a, after great decision, we'll have 23 <laughs> across. <laughs> <the way. laughs> yes, that just about completes it, doesn't it? Firm up the stroke. Coup or coop is the correct C -O -U -P. answer. P. Firm company up. Absolutely right. Well, that completes the, uh, the first um, puzzle. The scores, Northampton 99, Clacton 99, a dead heat as we move on to the second matrix. And we're ready for Clacton's second clue. One down, please. One down.
strips off and returns to Morpheus. Peels? No. Ooh. And I'll offer that to Northampton. No, too late. Right, come back to um, Plankton for your third clue. One uh, down, please. One down. You just had it. Yes. Do you okay? We want it again. Yeah. Right. Strips off and returns to Morpheus. Sleep. Yes. That's okay. <laughs> well done. So you go up now to uh, 104, and we come back to Northampton for the first of their three, and it's neck and neck. One across, please. One across. Sometimes found in corners. Squares? No, nope. and I'll offer that quickly across to Clacton. Can you tell what it is? You don't know? I'll ask Jack to tell us. Well, it's sometimes seconds, which are found in boxing corners, of course. Ah, very clever. And now we come back uh, to uh, Northampton for their second clue. Eleven across. Eleven please. across. Work back the rude way and get discharged. Forward. Yes, is the right answer. Work well, back uh, is up, reversed, and an anagram of rude. Good. And your third clue? Um, two down, please. Two down. Sounds nuts, but overcomes all. Conquers. Yes. That's very good. Nice, nice, nice pun, that, isn't it? A pun. <laughs> yes, indeed. So, there we are. That's your third. You now have 113. Clacton have 104 and a run of three clues to go at. One across. One across. Sometimes found in corners. Do you know it, Northampton? No, you still don't know it, right? We come back to Clacton for their second clue. Uh, 14 across. 14 please. across. Latest price change for floor coverings, six and five. Carpet tiles. Is the correct answer, yes. I think it's an anagram of the latest price. Indeed. And the third of your three. 14 down, please. 14 down. That crazy, manic time of Hollywood. Cinematic. Is the correct answer. Mm. Anagram of uh, manic time. It is indeed. And that completes your three. Clacton, you have 124. Northampton, 113. Your, your turn. <laughs> Eight across. Eight across, Please. Peter. Boredom displayed by drunken nuisance. Ennui. Ah, oui. <laughs> <laughs> Hidden in drunken nuisance, and it Correct. means boredom. Good. Your second clue. Yes, sir. A long one. Thirteen down. Thirteen down. Thirteen down. It's tacit somehow on board that numbers appear. Statistic. Yes. Anagram on its tacit. Indeed. And your third clue. 18 across. Let's have a look at 18 across, shall we? The way strain becomes a woman teacher. Mistress. Yes. M M1 for the way and stress for strain. Woman teacher is mistress. Very good indeed. Three very good uh, clues there. You have 136 Northampton, Clacton 124. And it's your turn again. Sixteen across, please. Sixteen across. Disaster could bring disturbed chap to tears. Catastrophe is the correct answer. It's an anagram of um, chap to tears. It is indeed. And you've got 11 points there, which are very welcome at this stage. We're just one behind now. Your second clue. Mm -hmm. Five down, please. Five down. About 
greater or fewer? More or less. Indeed. He's absolutely right again. What, 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 gave, what led you to that? Um, greater, more, fewer, less, or in the middle. Very good. And your third cue? Five across, please. Five across. Spouse is about and gives permission. Time's up, do you know it, Northampton? No. Straight away? Right. So we stay with you now, though, because it's the first of uh, your three clues. You've got 136, Clacton 145. Seven down, yeah. mm -hmm. What's it going to be, Peter? Seven down. Seven down. Confuses Eastern sex tripe <laughs> with real skill. Aren't they extraordinary, these clues? Expertise. Is the correct answer, yes, yes, indeed. It's an anagram on E for Eastern and sex tripe. <laughs> it is indeed. And nine very good points to you. Your second clue. Fifteen down, please. Absolutely dead level. 145 each, as you ask, for fifteen down. Pound I'd spend to make something glorious. Splendid. Indeed it is. It's the right answer. Tell me why. An anagram of pound, letter L, and I'd spend. Very good. Eight points to you and your third clue. Twelve across. Twelve across, Peter. Engineer in harbour becomes hood, perhaps. Can you pick that up, Clacton? Very quickly? No. But we'll stay with you anyway, because it's your first turn now. Huh? Um, 27 across, please. 27 across. Disturbed a quiet adder and put it on display. Paraded. Is correct. Um, a quiet P and ad adder anagram of AP adder. Good. That's it. Your second clue. Um, 22 down, please. 22 down. Slide softly and miss. Skip. Is the correct answer, yes. Ski for slide and softly is a P in music. Very good. Very good indeed, Ken. And your third clue? 19 across. 19 across. Starting price for everyone, I hear it said. Speech. Yes, that's the correct answer. And that completes your starting round. Starting price and each sounds like the other each, E-A-C-H. Indeed. You have 162 points. Northampton chasing you with 153. And it's their turn. 20 down. 20 down. Model problem, question mark? Poser. Yes. A model is a poser and the question is a poser. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely right, Ted. And your second clue? 25 across. 25 across. Teams I'd point to on board. Sides. It is sides. It's Peter. I'd um, and point E in SS, meaning on board ship. Right. And the third clue? 21 down. 21 down. Poured cold water on love in a battered shed. Hosed. Hosed is right. <laughs> and How did you get that? Another anagram <laughs> of love O in shed. Absolutely right. Good. Well, now let's have a look at that score. Northampton have 168 points, Clacton have 162, only six behind as they begin another run of three clues. 26 across. 26 please. across for Tony. The church comes back and comforts the folds.
Cossets? No, it's not Cossets. Can you pick that up, Northampton? Yes. Creases. It is creases. Yes, indeed. You get seven bonus points. Tell us why. C. No, church is R.C. R.C. backwards. backwards and eases for comforts. That's very good. You get seven points. We stay with you now. And it's the first of your three. You regain the initiative. Seventeen good, down, A good please. time to do it. Seventeen down. Take it for granted that the bird comes back to meet the donkey. Assume. Assume. Yes. As with emu backwards. Very good indeed. Six. Second clue. Three down. Three down. Three down. Three down. It's quite simple. I enroll in church body. Naive. And yes. It's um, I in naive. It is. You've got it. Five more points. And your third clue. 23 across, please. 23 across. Trip to ancient city. Tour. Yes. To Ur of the Chaldees. That is right. Which, as we all know, is human. <laughs> Quite. Well, there we complete your three. You have 190 points. Clacton have 162. So it's up to you to choose another clue. Five across, please. Five across. And this is one we tried before. Spouse is about and gives permission. Mandate. That is right. How did you do that? Well, it's a mate with an uh, and in the middle, and the mandate is to give permission. Good, you've got seven points. What are you going to have next? Second clue. One across, please. One across. Sometimes found in corners. Seconds. Yes. Uh, seconds as in the boxing ring, sometimes. Seconds. That's right. And the third clue coming up. Twelve across, please. Twelve across. Engineer in harbour becomes hood, perhaps. Portier? No, it's not Portier. I'll offer that very quickly to Northampton, do you know? You uh, don't know. No. Uh, we'll stay with you, though, for another clue from you. Six down. Six down. Starve when in a fever. It wards it off. Averts. Averts is the right answer. Anagram of starve. Good. And your second clue? Um, ten across, please. Ten across. Record or record after he becomes a servant. Help. Is correct. LP is record after he. That's correct. And your third clue? 24 across. 24 across. The writer has lots of fur. Mink. It is mink. <whistles> it's mink? <laughs> yeah, I, never mind why. You've got the four <laughs> points. And that brings us to the end of the contest. My goodness me. And the end of the second semi-final. Well, Clacton have 176 points. But with 204 points, uh, Northampton have won their way through to meet Cambridge in the grand final. Well, congratulations to them and commiserations to Clacton. Our next programme will be a very grand affair, staged at the Open University Studio in Milton Keynes before an audience. So don't forget to watch Cambridge battle it out with Northampton to decide the championship. But for now, from all of us here, good night and thanks for watching. <laughs>